Hello, this is Keegan, and today I wanted to go over iCloud documents. Now, iCloud documents are relatively new, but if you've ever heard of Google documents, then you're pre you'd be pretty familiar with these as well. So iCloud documents, like Google Docs, are a collaborative document that is in the cloud, uh, hence iCloud, and you can access them from both the an iPad app or the computer apps on a Mac or now also a web app version. So what I want to do first is I want to show you how you would initiate a collaborative iCloud document and if you need a guide on the settings you would need enabled to do this click on the annotation or the link into the description down below and the previous video that I'm linking you to has some information on the settings you will need for this. On the iPad though, if you go into one of these, so pages, numbers, or keynote, I'm just going to go into keynote, and what you want to do is you want to share the, the link to the document. So the share button on iPad looks like that, and I'm going to share a link via iCloud, and I'm going to select which document I want. And once you do that, you can copy the link to post it really anywhere or if you want to send it directly to someone via email or message or maybe it's a public document that you want to tweet out. Any of those options are appropriate. Okay. So once someone gets the link to your iCloud document, what it's going to look like on the computer side when they pull it up is like this. So this is the web app version. So in here you can do some basic editing but what I want to show you is that on the web app version so we have actually two individuals that are editing this. I have this pulled up on both a Mac and Windows machine right now. And as I add to this presentation it updates in real time uh, on the other computer. So any other person that's collaborating with you, you can build a presentation or enter data on a spreadsheet or type a paper all together at the same time. So this is what iCloud uh, Keynote looks like. And then you can also do, though, you can do documents and you can do, if you wanted to enter data uh, collaboratively together, you could do that very easily using iCloud numbers. But what's very powerful about this is since you can update this in real time, it makes group work much easier. You don't have to send multiple emails of, the, of data to one another, or you can just work on one paper together rather than sending versions or using track changes or things like that. Okay, so I've made this update on the Mac, and it's updated on the Windows side as well. And in addition to that, if I jump over now to the iPad, you'll notice that that presentation is also updated there. So if I open this up, I, uh, my edits are now in sync there on the iPad. Now a word of caution though for this, if you want to collaborate with someone in real time, everyone needs to be using the web app version because if you're using the iPad app or the computer app, Sometimes the documents can get out of sync with the web version. So that's fine if you're working on the documents at different times, but if you're in the same room writing a paper together, you both want to be on the web app version of this. And you can go to iCloud.com and sign in with your Apple ID at any time to see what iCloud documents you have. Now, the last thing I want to mention too is a benefit to this over Google Docs. Because for a Google Doc, for you to edit a Google Doc, you must have a Gmail account. But for an iCloud document, all you have to have is the link to the document to edit. So anyone with that link can edit that document. They don't have to be an Apple user. They don't have to have an Apple ID. So it makes it really easy to collaborate with someone, especially if you don't have to give them also the instructions on creating an email account so that they can access the documents. All right, well, you can do that with, like I said, pages, numbers, and keynote, but I just wanted to highlight that because it's a very powerful addition that has come out for uh, both iPad and Mac and also just 
on the web, any computer, a Chromebook, a Windows machine, anything with a Chrome or Firefox can, can do this um, collaboration. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Leave a like or comment, subscribe to the channel. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and I will try and get back with you. Thank you very much.